How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Two Point Campus. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back. We have managed to successfully attain a single star on Pebbly Ruins. Now we could keep going. We could keep going with Pebbly Ruins, but I'm going to be honest, it was a little too easy at times. And I do want to see what Blundergrad is all about. We're going to be protecting the county's secrets by expelling moles and training the spies of tomorrow. I do want to get into Urban Bungle as well, where we're dealing with cutting edge technology and what makes the future a real possibility. And I do, of course, want to get to Breaking Point as well, where we're going to have to stay afloat by keeping students happy at the county's notorious party school. And then there is Two Point University itself, the county's namesake. You know, this university was bought and shut down by Jumbo Megacorp. Now it's going to be reopened by me. But to do that, I need a star in Blundergrad, in Urban Bungle, and in Breaking Point. So let's go to Blundergrad and let's see what exactly we can do. Welcome to Roach Burger, the county's favorite roach themed, roach free burger joint. Don't get too hungry though. This particular branch is actually a cover for the Two Point Secret Service. You'll be running the Special Agent Training Campus. Unfortunately for you, and for everyone really, the county's enemies have realized they can infiltrate our operation by applying to the campus. I know. Sneaky, right? So we're going to be running a spy school and a gastronomy school here as well. I think I just said gastronomy. Gastronomy is the second course that we're doing. We are going to need a gadget lab. We are going to need a lecture theater, a gastronomy teacher, and a spy school teacher as well. So welcome to Roach Burger, home of the... Isn't that a... Oh, what is that a reference to? I don't remember. Is it Good Burger? Welcome to Good Burger. Home. Isn't that a Keenan and Kel thing? I could. I. I feel like I'm. I never watched Keenan and Kel. I'm gonna be honest. I was a little. I was just, just too young. I think to really get into Keenan and Kel. Anyway, welcome to Roach Burger, home of the Roach Burger. Can I offer you a napkin? Napkin. That's the code word. Did no one tell you the code word? Let's just say that I'm from the Secret Service, and I'll visit periodically to relay information and see how you're doing. Actually. That's pretty much exactly what's going on. Over and out. Okay, so we need to get ourselves a gadget lab, a lecture theater, a gastronomy teacher, and a spy school teacher. We already have a savory kitchen over here, which is fantastic news. I guess that is the roach burger in question. So let's get ourselves the things that we're going to need. And I'm actually kind of curious to see what a gadget lab is going to look like. It is 30,000. It has to be 6 by 5 which is kind of huge, actually. But we can go for... 6x5 right about there. We'll go for a door right in the middle. And then this thing is what exactly? The jetpack station. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be an interesting one. What else have we got? We have the tech table, which doesn't actually add to the room. We have the chemical table. And we have the drone table as well. So none of those things add to the room. And by the looks of it, this place is actually a little bit cold. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a radiator right back there. And let's get a radiator right down here as well, just to make sure the place is nice and warm. I am going to go ahead and avoid adding things like tech tables and drone tables, though, just until we need them. And students will eventually need those things. So for now, $30,700 is fine by me. The next thing we need is a lecture theater. So that right there is our secret lab, our gadget lab. And this right here is our lecture theater. Next to both of those things, we are going to need a few more things. We're going to need some dormitories. We're going to need some student lounges. We're going to need some bathrooms and we're going to need some shower rooms. So I think what I'm going to do is a bathroom right here. And we'll do some showers right next to it. So a whole bunch of toilets across there. We can do a whole bunch of sinks right in the middle like this just to boost the hygiene in the campus. And then next to this, we'll go for a shower room, which is obviously right here. And we'll do the showers and toilets back to back, which don't think about it too much. It's a horrible, horrible thought, but this will sort of do. And the towel rack actually does increase attractiveness a little bit. So we'll go ahead and do this. 
and that's going to be fine for the toilets and the showers, which will hopefully keep my students relatively happy. Now, I do want to see how temperatures are looking. This place is kind of warm, which is good. We can go ahead and probably throw a probably a regular radiator in here. Something interesting. Something just fell off of a shelf in a corner of my office, and that's that's never unnerving when that happens. I haven't touched the thing that fell off the shelf in days, possibly weeks, and it's just it's just fell off the shelf for absolutely zero reason. So there's a good <laughs> there's a good chance my office is probably haunted, but we'll not worry too much about that. Uh, so we have the radiators sorted. That's going to keep the place nice and warm. We have got some course points, but I can't really do anything with them, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. And I guess we'll get ourselves the teacher that we need. So we'll go for, I guess, Clementine Turbo for one teacher. And we'll go for Isabel Burp for the other teacher. And that means we can start the academic year, which honestly, I'm not against doing, but I do kind of want to get a staff room in here so that my staff can chill just a little bit. And I'm slightly tempted to get a student lounge for that exact same reason. And there we go. We have ourselves a staff room. We have ourselves a student lounge. We just need to get ourselves a radiator for both of them. So we'll get a nice radiator in there. Might need another one, but for now, that should be just fine. And then what I want to do is I want to get myself some vending machines. So a morsel man machine right there. And we'll go for palpitation right here. We'll go for cheesy gubbins right across the way. And we'll go for a burp machine right across the way as well. And then what we can do is throw some radiators in here. So a radiator right about here. We can go for a radiator right about here as well. And we'll go for one right about there as well. Now this area is quite warm. Honestly, that's kind of okay. Uh, we'll throw a radiator here as well. And that should keep us nice and warm around all of the rooms that we're going to. So now... Oh, we do have 20 course points. Now, hold on a second. Can I upgrade the spy school? I totally can. I don't need any more rooms. So let's start the academic year. We're bringing in 25 students, which sounds fantastic to me. And now they just want dormitories. Now, to get one star, we need, I guess, 10 B-grade spy school classes. We need to complete three research projects and a campus level of 10 with an average food rating of 75%. So what I think we're going to do right off the bat is we're going to go in and get ourselves a research lab and this guy has to be four by four so i could go something like this and that would give us some corridors sort of going all around this that does seem a little unnecessary so i might do this and then maybe give us a corridor of you know three through the middle right there i don't dislike that i don't i don't totally hate it I think what we'll do is just get ourselves a research thing like this, and in terms of adding to it, right now, I'm not really too concerned. We'll keep it relatively simple. And in terms of completing research projects, I mean, what do we want to go for? Jetpack 2? Jetpack 2 seems like the way to go. We could upgrade that. So we'll do that. And that's what we'll start working towards right off the bat. And that leaves us with $45,000, with which we probably want to get some dormitories. So let's take a look and see if we can build ourselves a giant dormitory. Let's see if we can get away with doing the same thing that we did in the last campus. Now this right here is gonna be $5,000, which honestly isn't too bad. Uh, I am thinking though that I want to, what is this, one, two, three, so it's gonna be six. So if I go and say one, two, let's see, that was one, two, three, four, five. If I cut that out, I'm still going to have the same amount of space to put like a, you know, another lecture theater and another one of the gadget labs over on this side, which might be a good thing. Although looking at it, that is actually five. I want to go to here and now I've got the same amount of room. Now we can go for a little bit of symmetry. So we'll give that a shot. We'll go ahead and put a door right about here. And then what we want to do is just go in with the room dividers and see what exactly we can do. And by the looks of it, we can go ahead and we can get a decent chunk of space for each of the little dormitories that we're going to have here. So we can do a little something like this. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six of them. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And we can decorate them quite nicely as well. Now, do I want this thing? I mean, the double jump bed, it's... 
it's kind of ridiculous. It is, it is kind of ridiculous. It is, it is a little larger than I, than I would want it to be, but I will finally have students no longer asking me for that particular bed. Although it is $4,000 versus $1,200 for the other ones. It better, oh man, that's, all right, you know what, we'll do, we'll do, <laughs> we'll do three of them. We'll do three of them. Spy school students can be moles sent by our enemies. Moles will sabotage nearby classmates and disrupt them or distract them from learning. Spot sabotage by watching out for clouds of confusion. One of the students in the cloud is a mole. Track the clouds to identify which student it follows before expelling your suspect to reveal if they were the mole. And there we go. We also have a dormitory. We have this up and going, which has 25 students assigned. It is not necessarily warm enough. And the accommodation rating could be better as well. Interesting. Now, let's take a little look and see what's going on here. It is arguably cold, which is surprising. Yeah, or warm rather. I don't know why I said cold. It is a bit warm. Uh, so we have a lot of students with a lot of requests right now. They want a love bench, which I guess I can place, I guess right about here. And I guess right about here for the love bench. What is this? Mayoral visit, that's fine. What do they want? There's a lot of things that they want right now. They want a library. They want a library. They want a library, 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 and library. And that's my statement. Okay, they also want a gym. I'm, I'm not giving them a gym. They're not, they're not getting one. They'll get a library though. And I guess I'll give them a decent sized library because that just seems like the right thing to do. So let's go ahead and put our door for this thing. I'm gonna say right about here. We'll put the library sort of librarian desk right there. And we can just do some bookshelves right down the, right down at the back. We'll go for one in the middle. And then I'll go and see if I can get myself a different type of bookshelf. So what have we got in here? What is this? That is the spy school bookcase. That is the Scientography bookcase. Let's get the spy school one and we'll put it right there. And let's see if I have one for gastronomy as well. I would imagine I do. I'd be surprised if I didn't have a gastronomy bookcase, but for the life of me, I don't, there it is. Uh, I wasn't sure what it looked like. So we'll go ahead and put it there. That's now a decent looking little library. And what we can do is get some cubicles in here too. So we'll go ahead and do, you know, one of these guys. We'll do one opposite. Uh, we'll do this guy and this guy, and we'll get this guy as well with this guy right about here. So that should give them everything they need on that front. They are probably gonna want a records cubicle as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of those. No, I'm not, because they don't fit together. Uh, we'll put one down there and we'll put one just about there so that'll keep them happy and honestly they're probably gonna want more bookcases as well so can i squeeze them in here no but i can get them right about there and i can get another one right about there and it looks like i can get one here and here as well so that should in theory keep everyone pretty happy that should give them plenty of education we can also go ahead and get a robot display in here and i'll get myself a fossil display as well, just to make the place, you know, kind of fancy, really boost the attractiveness, make it a great looking library. And apparently I can't do that, so never mind. And there we go. We have what I think is a pretty good looking library, although it is going to need a bit of a temperature boost because I totally forgot to put radiators in here. So I can't get one in there. I can get one in there though. And maybe we should use the smaller ones. Maybe the smaller radiators would be the way to go here, just to try and not overheat this place. So a radiator right about there, and a radiator right about there. That seems okay. This middle bit's a little warm, but we'll just chalk that up to the fact that there's a couple of computers in there, and totally go with that as the reason, and not the fact that I've put too many radiators in there. But that seems fine. We also have a bunch of students that seem confused, and I'm starting to think you might be the mole. I'm starting to think you there might be the mole, Kim Education Mewling. Is Wait a minute, they're all confused over here as well. Is it you? No, those two, those two are kind of in love. You guys are all confused as well. Who is this? Wait, where did Kim go? Hmm. Where did Kim go? 
That's Penny Kitten. That's Kim right there. All right. So what are you doing? I'm I'm slightly hmm. I'm not exactly sure how to spot a mole. I've got to be honest with you. I'm not exactly 100% sure how we're going to do this. But you know what? We'll deal with it in a bit. You are not happy about something. You've been sabotaged. Which again causes confusion. You've all been sabotaged as well. But you over there are not sabotaged at... Oh, no. Now you're confused. Okay. Oh, this is... This is this is actually kind of confusing. I'm going to be quite honest. It's, it's a little... It's a little difficult to see who is potentially doing this. I have no, I, I actually have no idea. I have no idea what I'm looking for either. <laughs> it might be really obvious. I feel like it probably is really obvious, but I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. I'm also pretty, oh my God. <laughs> it's gonna be one of you, isn't it? Oh man, I, I just don't know. I just, I just don't know. I want to, I, can I just expel all of them? Oh God, I dread to see what rewards we've got or awards that we've got here. We are the king of hearts. Not very many people passed. A lot of people failed. That's to be expected. Uh, we need another lecture theater. We also need a panic room and a sweet kitchen. So let's copy this lecture theater since that's kind of why it's here. And I realize... I realize I've slightly screwed up here. So what I'm going to do is place the lecture theater right there. We'll sell those windows. And I'm going to go modify my library and make it just a little bit bigger. Because I figure, why not, right? Might as well make it slightly more effective. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. We're just making the library bigger. It's, you know, it's not a it's nothing crazy. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to duplicate that, or not duplicate it. I wanted to move the original one. I don't know why I can't speak today. It's another one of those days where I'm just, I'm just doing things. I'm just doing things as I go, and I'm not fully forming the thoughts of what I'm doing in my head before I do them, and it's causing me to trip over my words, and it's very, very frustrating, but we'll manage. Let's go ahead and duplicate this bookcase as well and slap it right about there. And I guess we could probably move some of those desks down. I'm going to leave them be for now. Because honestly, we might as well. Now let's see. Stay calm. Uh, we're trusting you with some new top secret facilities. It's the finest espionage equipment this side of the Pointy Mountains. They call it the Panic Room. Okay. So I can totally do that, but I'm going to need more land. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. We have this space right here. For 60,000 with buildings, we have... Do we have a lot of space around here? Ooh. Oh, we have some across the road. We actually have a lot of space across the road. That's actually very cool. I, I like that a lot. Oh, we have space over here as well. Okay, this map is actually kind of huge, and I'm kind of here for it. I, I'm really into this. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this space with the buildings on it so that we can use it and not have people going way too far away. Uh, and while we're at it, let's go ahead and just look at temperatures in here because people up in this corner are just a little bit cold and people in there are a little bit cold as well. So we'll fix that. Everything seems sorted. We could probably get more vending machines as well and some benches. But honestly, this works for now. Let's just get ourselves that panic room. Let's get ourselves that sweet kitchen. And let's maybe upgrade gastronomy as well, which I might regret. No, didn't regret it. That's probably for the best. So the panic room has to be 12 by 6, which is kind of wild. But we can absolutely do that. We'll go ahead and put it right about here. And I guess in terms of components, it needs a stealth obstacle course, of which we, I guess, have two options. We have this one. And we have this one. Interesting. Okay, well, let's go for the stealth one, since that's what it needs. And let's go for a nice door. Can I get it right in the middle? I absolutely can. Does this room have anything else we can add to it? Not, not really. Okay, we'll just get some radiators then, right in that corner. And in 
I suppose, that corner. And we'll get one right opposite the door, just right about here. And that room should be fine. We could probably throw a plant in uh, each corner as well, just to be a little bit nicer. And yeah, that looks... That looks pretty good. I'm getting some evil genius vibes, and I'm kind of here for it. As for the sweet kitchen, I mean, it's six by five, so we'll go for something right about here. A nice door in the middle. We'll go for this thing right about there. And do we have anything that's going to... So the washing station is actually good for hygiene, which I'm absolutely here for. And then we have anything that's good for learning. Doesn't really look like it, does it? Can I unlock anything that's going to be better for learning? Culinary fridge, equipment cupboards, spice rack. It doesn't really look like it at all. Okay, let's just throw this guy in the corner and let's go and grab another one for this corner right about there, which apparently it's not wanting me to do at all. Can I grab you and put you against that wall? Is is that an option? Can I put you, uh, you right there? Okay, so that's fine. Once again, we'll go in with a, uh, a nice radiator here and a radiator there. That's the rooms that we need. Now we just need two more teachers and we are pretty much good to go. So I guess let's go ahead and start the academic year. I did also, just by the way, add another dormitory over here, which has 26, 27, 28, 20, 30 students in it. The accommodation rating is 100%. And so that should keep everybody relatively happy when combined with this dormitory over here, which has 16 students assigned to it at the moment with an accommodation rating of 100%. So my students are going to be nice and happy with their accommodation. This one here could be a little bit better, but I'm not going to stress too much about it. I think my priority at this point is going to be figuring out who exactly is a mole amongst all of these crowds and whatnot. I did notice this guy was sort of creeping along a little bit. I don't know if he's a mole though. I'm gonna expel him. I'm just I'm gonna do it anyway. And just just see just see if he happened was he a mole? I don't know if he was a mole. I get the feeling he wasn't a mole. <laughs> I just I have a I have a I have a suspicion. That guy might not have been a mole. What do you want? A coffee kiosk? Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna do I'm not gonna do a coffee kiosk just yet. We do absolutely have the space for coffee kiosks and things like that. I just don't particularly want one yet. Now, let's see. Any of you going to get uh, get all confused like? Any of you going to be standing around not sure what exactly is going on? Doesn't really look like it, which is probably for the best. None of you are particularly confused either. None of you are particularly confused. And some of you are particularly confused. Okay. So who in here is the mole? I mean, you're kind of the only one that stands out right now with that hat. I'm going to be honest. I've got to be, I've got to be real about it. I've also completely forgotten what the telltale sign is for dealing with the mole. I know I just kind of read what the signs were, but I've honestly immediately forgotten. Now I am noticing that a good chunk of my students are running into issues with pastoral care or well, they have pastoral issues. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some pastoral support, which can conveniently go right about here. And I think what I'm going to do with this is make a very, very simple room. A little something like this. We'll go for a nice fireplace at the back. We can go for, let's see, a nice, uh, nice picture or two. We'll go for this one. We'll go for this one. We can maybe get a nice... Can I get a rug under there? Is that an option? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, we could go for a bookcase down here. And we could go for the pastoral cabinet uh, just down here as well. And that'll do. It's 11,650. We'll go ahead and, you know, build it and then copy it and put another one right there. And that should keep us good for pastoral care for a little while. So we'll get Gwyneth MacGuffin to work in pastoral care and we'll make sure that that is the only thing you're doing and as for the other assistants we'll go for rose tart and you can also go and work exclusively in pastoral care so that should keep the students relatively happy that should sort out all of their issues that is my monthly report that's fine they want the crescent bench they don't want much do they 
They, they, they really, they just, they want, they want everything. They want absolutely everything in here. It's ridiculous. They want crescent benches. They can't just use a normal bench. They just, they want everything. That's an open day. That's fine. They want a student lounge party. I can do that as well. That's also fine. We'll go ahead and book it. They want a chef's menu for some reason. I don't know why, but sure. They can have a chef's menu, I guess. And you're considering dropping out. Why? What are your problems? You're hungry. Okay, I'll put some vending machines in there. Chill. Oh, apparently I did find a mole, I think. Yeah, look at this guy. Titus Boff happened to be a mole. So what happens is you can click on students and if it makes a weird noise, they're a mole, apparently. So if I go around here, like this guy's confused, you're confused, you're confused, you're all confused as well. But I think I, I might, I might be wrong, but it did start making a noise when I clicked on this one dude that happened to be a mole. So you, for example, you're not confused at all. Although you are running around like you're up to something, which is a bit odd, I'm gonna be honest. What are you two doing? Chilling? Oh, you just got confused though. What about you? Are you a mole? It's kind of hard to tell. You were looking a bit confused there, I'm gonna be honest. But there's definitely, there was definitely confusion going on over here as well. It's, it's tricky. I've gotta be honest. It's really, it's really, really tricky. I'm not 100% sure how any of this works, but I did manage to expel a single mole, so I have that going for me. And I guess we should, let's see here, let me just accept this. I guess we should look into increasing the general food rating around here. So let's go ahead and get some kiosks and I am gonna put them over here. So we'll start with coffee. We'll go for, I guess, coffee right about there. And we'll go for, let's see, we'll go for coffee and we'll go for ramen right next to each other. And in front of those, I want to get some of these guys, some of these tables right here, just to make the place look kind of nice, you know, just to make it look like you can kind of sit and chill, enjoy your coffee, enjoy your ramen, everything will be fine. We just need to get ourselves a couple of assistants, so we'll go for, I guess we'll start with you, and you are exclusively going to be working at a kiosk, and we'll go for you as well. And you are also going to be exclusively working at a kiosk. So that should keep those guys happy. We need to get the average food rating up by another couple of percent. We need to get the campus level up to level 10. And we need to complete more research projects, which we are working on. And then, of course, getting the grades up a little bit. I think that's going to be a case of getting rid of some moles here and there. So we'll see how that plays out. It's also looking like we might need some, uh, might need some benches for pastoral care over here. So let's see, well, let's see if we can, you know, cheer them up a little bit. So they want funny films. We'll go for end of July every single year. They want a two player game table. No, open day reporters, whatever. They're not getting a gym. Veggie kiosk, eh, not right now. Herb garden, no. That's the reports. That's the open day that we're gonna do. And that is our report as well. Okay, so we're doing all right. There has been a little something something going on over here though. Someone has confused my students and I would like to know who exactly it was. Cause looking at it, I mean, you're, you were confused. You, your grade, you've got a B grade. What have you got right now? You've got a D grade, interesting. So you are, well, I don't know to be honest. You were confused. You got a C plus grade? Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. We'll go ahead and throw this, uh, we'll go ahead and throw this research project in there so we can get that out of the way. I just, I just don't know how to tell. I clicked on one of the, one of the students and they were definitely, they were definitely confused. Wait a minute. You walk just, you just walked past that guy. But there's no tell. How do I tell who's a spy? I just don't know. Oh, we just got campus level 10. I guess all we needed was a little bit of private tuition and another shower room. And I guess what we could do here is potentially throw in another couple of kiosks. So let me go and grab smoothies and they can go right here. Let me grab the vegetable kiosk and it can go right here. And we'll grab ourselves the hot dog kiosk and it can go right there. And that should keep us pretty good. 
we can get ourselves another three assistants as well. So Edmund is going to go in there. We can get ourselves, let's see. Let's go with uh, Ava or Eva. And we'll go for Chloe as well. So you three, congratulations on your employment. You're going to be selling food exclusively, which, you know, you probably didn't sign up for, but it's what you're doing. So you're going to have to live with it. And there we go. So they can run off. They can do their thing. And that should help to keep those students relatively happy. Now, you're thinking of dropping out. What's your issue? I mean, you are you are in pastoral care, or you should be in pastoral care. I'm not sure what you're doing, but you've got a you've, you've got something. You're missing. I think you, I think that student might have just missed the uh, the movie. Something tells me that's why they were rushing, and that's what they wanted. Oh, what did I do? Cutting edge campus. Ooh, we made the greatest strides in research. And now we need a computer lab, a gadget lab, a savory kitchen, and a science lab, and another gastronomy teacher. Oh my god. I mean, we do have $300,000, so I guess that makes sense. Oh boy. Alright, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and upgrade the spy school. And I guess let's, let's buy ourselves a big old chunk of land is what we're going to do now. So how much for this place? $70,000? We'll take it. That should be fine. We can get this research project done in time. We'll get this, you know, the classes up to up to speed a little bit. And I guess, I mean, how big was the building on this? I mean, it's a nice plaza. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can, I can deal with this. This is, uh, this is a decent size for for a building. We can get a computer lab in there, gadget lab, savory kitchen, etc. So, I mean, I could probably just copy and paste a lot of things, right? Is that the boring way of doing things, though? I feel like that's the boring way of doing things. At the same time, it feels like the smart way of doing things. 